Good morning, everybody. Peg, you there? <laughs> you are. You must have that. You do cut and paste that, <laughs> and you're just like ready. I'm going to be the first. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to the whatever stream of this enamel business that we're doing. We have kind of just like a, a little bit of everything kind of a day. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a bunch of things to work on that we're going to do. Um, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about the enamel art jam. Oh, yes. And before we get too far in, don't forget, I actually finally have picked a day that we're going to do the giveaway. There's going to be a sample strip and something else giveaway that will be open to anyone who either subscribes to my, hold on. Really, do I not have my, my Vimeo? There we go. That subscribes to my Vimeo channel or subscribes to this Twitch channel on, and yeah, it's May 1st, but I wanna make sure that everyone has the opportunity to contact me because I don't have the list of those people, so you will need to let me know and uh, that you are subscribed to one or both of those things. Uh, you get double. If you're subscribed to both of those things, you get like, you get put in all of the drawings. And what the prizes are going to be, uh, it's going to be, I'm just randomly pick one, it's not particularly this one. There's going to be several sample strips, colored sample strips. That's a pale blue one. And so you will receive a beautiful handmade sample strip and a small sample of whatever the respective col enamel color is. And then there's gonna be maybe something a little bit nicer as well as the grand prize. And I'm not sure how many, good morning, Lulu, how many we're gonna give away? At least five, five total prizes for everybody. Honestly, it's not that many people. So you've got, um, you've got pretty good chances of winning something. And as long as you don't mind paying any kind of duty, I will ship it to wherever I am legally allowed to ship it in the world. So that is good. And May 1st is right before I head out to teach in Portugal. So if anyone in Portugal wins, I can just bring you your prize. So that will be very exciting. So again, um, if you want to be, hey Angie from Arizona, if you want to get in on the drawing, subscribe here, subscribe on my Vimeo thing. It's all good, but you do have to let me know. You have to email me to let me know that you've done that. So that's why you have until May 1st for that. And we'll do that live here on Twitch we'll, is where that will happen on May 1st. So I've committed to it. I just got to, you know, add it to my to-do list, <laughs> which is getting kind of big. So again, that is the excitement for that. So yeah, everyone, oh my gosh. And we have so many people signed up for the Enamel Art Jam. I hesitate to even put this up because I have, I only made 185 uh, word combinations for the themes and we're getting close. Like we're almost, I'm worried that we might, we, I might run out of themes. No worries, I can make more if more people sign up, but it has been such a great response. And if we get a quarter of those people actually submitting pieces at the end, I will be so thrilled. So that's very exciting. We're up to like 178 people signed up as of this morning. Good morning, Margaret. And yes, so Enamel Art Jam, boop, boop, boop. Still time to sign up. And yeah, I know it's crazy. And yeah, I think I don't, you know, I'm never really going to close it. People can, you know, contact me, but the official sign up date ending period will be March 15th, 2023. Obviously I'm flexible. If you ask, I tend, you know, I tend to accommodate anything. You come late to the game. Fine. Happy. Welcome. Welcome. So that is it. And I'm going to tell you, I've gotten, well, I've gotten a little, I kind of have an idea. I don't have like a whole idea and I haven't started it, but I'm gonna tell, share with you what I am working on for my enamel art jam 
projects. So I'm going to switch over to the workbench cam. There we go. Oh, we don't need the, this microscope. I mean, this microscope camera is super great. It was 40 bucks, but it takes like 10 minutes to get it to actually turn on. And every single time I'm like, well, I guess the camera's broken. So <laughs> it's just like this thing. It won't turn on, it won't turn on. But so once I turned it on, I'm like, oh, we're gonna just leave it on. But uh, say goodbye to it for now. So um, we're gonna be working on this later. This is a pendant. It's going to be all shades of cobalt blue. I sold it on my Etsy store and I need to ship it quite literally later this evening, first thing tomorrow morning. So we're gonna be um, getting that done because honestly, I've already printed out the shipping label for it, which is probably the height of hubris, which probably means something's terrible is gonna happen to it, but hopefully not. And that's gonna be for later. But let me, and it's not super exciting, all this stuff that I have for the enamel art jam, but my, let's see, my theme, I, had, I keep having to look it up, is um, Enchanted Twilight. And that was actually completely random. I was prepared to pick something good, but then I got assigned something good and I thought that's pretty good. I wouldn't have picked that for myself. So that's Enchanted Twilight. Twilight, is that spelled right? No, Twilight. Twilight. Um, and so I'm actually going to make something that is, let me move my camera just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to make something that is not, I'm going to close that, um, a piece of jewelry. So here's my goal. And this is as far as I've gotten is I'm going to make a small vase, enamel vase. Uh, and it's, here's the shape of it that I've gotten so far. It's going to be very, very small because I don't have a very large kiln and it's going to have, it's going to be, this is like, I did this in 30 seconds. It's going to have all these kind of creatures kind of of the witching hour just about to pop out. And there's going to be some all the way up, like there's going to be kind of a swoop thing. And then there's going to be some lightning bugs and shades of twilight. So that's as far as I've gotten. Oh, and the other thing that I really want to incorporate, which I'm not really sure if I will be, but I don't know if you remember, I've had this for several months. This piece, this is a gorgeous stone that I purchased from uh, Phil Lagas Rivera. It is a, I have to, I always have to look at it, what it is. Did I write it down? And his handwriting is terrible. It's a lutetium aluminum garnet, which is a hand, it, it is a man-made stone, but it fluoresces under, look at it, it's beautiful. I don't know if you can see how, beautiful this cut is uh, and it fluoresces which I'm gonna see I'm gonna turn the lights out to see if we can get it because uh, I've got this little thing to see if we can get it to fluoresce hold on oops really yeah let me turn out the light and see if it works turn that one out well this light has to stay on so we'll see you can't really tell oh, there it is you can see how it fluoresces under the blue light. So that I was thinking, I don't know, on the, the lid of it or something like that is kind of what I was thinking uh, because I've had this for a while. And he just such a, he's actually a Raleigh based, Raleigh, North Carolina based stone cutter or whatever, uh, sorry, lapidary artist. Um, and each stone that you buy from him comes with a lovely stamped thing. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me turn my light back on since that didn't really work. One, two, three. And, um, oh yeah, uh, well, and I've never made a vase ever, ever. And my plan is to, I'm going to sculpt it in Fusion 360. That's on my schedule for that to happen on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and have it 3D printed in sterling silver. A, there's a couple of things. Um, not sure how expensive it's gonna be. If it's wildly expensive, I might, you know, pick something different. Um, but we'll see the expense, because obviously I'd like to make two vases. If you're making one vase, I feel like you should make a twilight and a, a morning, like a morning and an evening vase. So maybe I'll make two. 
and it's so complicated. I can't imagine that I'll finish in time, but whatever. Um, that is as far as I've gotten with it. And things can change on a dime around here. So that, look at this. I just really, I love this stone. It almost looks so fake, but I love it. So there we go. That is, that is the show and tell for the day. And now let's actually get to some actual work. Let me set these over there. Don't lose those. Beautiful. And I think I still have, yeah, I think I still have comments are available to everybody. So, but if we get any spammer people, maybe I'll cut it back to um, the subscribers. But, you know, for the most part, you know, we're going to do it, take, we're going to see what happens. So, oh, I forgot to, all right. So the first thing we have that's kind of important is we need to get, I'd like to get two coats of color on this. I've, you can see yesterday I got all the wires glued in and they've been fired. It's a pendant and it's going to be shades of cobalt blue. Here's sort of the reference. Um, it's a little bit different, but it's going to be these colors right there. So we got to actually get those colors. And then we've also got, remember, I've done nothing. You think I don't do anything around here because it feels like I make zero progress on anything. Uh, we got our first coat of color on our sweet little guy here. I still have all those colors sitting right here. And so we're going to tag team these two pieces today. But first off, we actually do need to pick, choose the colors for this and get them going. And so uh, let's pull, uh, I just, this is the, this is the flat of blues that I need to redo all of these blue enamel strips. Um, but I haven't done that yet. So definitely a cobalt blue. I'm going to want I'm going to honestly move this out of the way for now so I can just lift up a little bit, move that out. There we go. So uh, I definitely want a cobalt blue and it's probably going to be the four. Oh, well, 974 could be nice. Oh uh, yeah, ultramarine. This is a really pretty one. We'll grab that and it's going to be mostly shades of really kind of cool, not these warm ones, but the, the cooler ones, which is all going to be the Nino Mias, um, N72, N70, N69. But where, where are you at all those? I wish I could just say that and they'll just jump off the board. Here we are. Uh, N70, there's N71, close enough. N70, N69 would be the lightest one. These are in no order whatsoever. I bet you're over here though. Oh yeah, L69, perfect, we'll take you. We definitely need this nice warm one, can't go wrong. And also we are going to do a little bit of the 546, so there'll be a slight amount of the warms. And then what else? Definitely. Oh, there's L L72. L72, I guess. And that actually might be just fine. I do really like L74, but it's probably too dark. I'll just do that. We'll be good. So we'll do these shades of blue. Should get us there. And there's one more. I also, I do really like this one. Maybe we'll do that. Hold on. Let's see. Ah, that'll be good. That'll be, that'll get us started. And then these are all pulled for our mouse friend. So we just honestly need a few of these blues. I'm going to set this up here to get it out of the way. There we go. And in the interest, I just pulled the drawer of pre-washed blues to see if we have any of these ready to go. Let us 
find, ah, there's Ultra 4, good, oh, L70, good enough, well, we don't, we didn't pull you, but we'll take you, what else do we have, I said forget me not, oh, that's a little bit better, we're going to take you right there, oh, just go anywhere, perfect, oh, here's L72, we'll take you, and what else? Yes. Nope, 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 nope. Alrighty, so we do need to get, do we not have L69? L70, we're not gonna do, we'll do call that one. So we just really need, oh, we've got this one. We just need L69, very light blue. And we don't need these, so we'll set you over here. All right, so these are going to be the blues. I've already got these pulled already. Oh wait, this was, yeah, I've got these pulled, so that's fine. We just need L69 Nino Mia. Very, let's see how long it takes to find it in the magic drawer of requirement. I see L71 for days, of course, but no, but no, but no. You might be in the other drawer. L69, yeah, all right, let me look in the other drawer and then we will move forward. I don't, I didn't prepare any water, but some days I am more prepared than others. So let me just go look for this pale, pale blue and we'll get started. Warm, oh, of course it's labeled warm blues. Uh, da, da, da. Certainly we have N69. I am not prepared to not have it. 69, oh, there it is, there it is. Ooh, I hope that's not all I have. Here we go. Yeah, I don't have very much left, but I'm assuming I have a kilo of it at home. I know I have a kilo of it at home, so that is good. We're going to just do a quick little mini wash. It has not been sifted, so it's gonna take a little bit more. That's fine. Well, I do want a lot of it. Now I'm gonna do a more traditional old school wash, so just there we go because so i do like this color so i'm going to make a lot more than normal there we go i don't think we need that and i'm going to get a little bit of distilled water and my bucket Oh, I'm almost out. Ugh, I'm almost out of distilled water too. What a catastrophe. We've got a little bucket right here. There we go, very exciting. And this is, I don't, you know, this is the kind of washing I do when I'm doing a ton, but I'm doing kind of a lot of it and it's not been pre-sifted and this will just be quicker. It uses more water, yes. Don't lose your mind over it. And always loses their mind. But see, it's all. All cloudy. We want it to be not cloudy. There we go. So you can see already slightly less cloudy. Please don't contact me because I'm wasting so much water. already. I'm probably going to do two more after this will probably be good. The, the lighter the color, the more you want to wash it. More washings because the more cloudiness will 
be a parent. You can, the dark colors are a little bit more forgiving. Oops, ugh, just everything is in the way today. Yeah, I moved this light back because I like the light, but it's totally in my personal space over here. But the, um, the little camera with the, the microscope camera needs a lot of extra light, so there we go. This will be good. Perfect. And while I'm here, I'm going to get myself just some clean water to wash the others. And that should be good. Yeah, but see how nice and clear that is? Perfect. I do want to, let's label this L69. Very light blue. There we go. ready to go. And we don't need the bucket anymore. Let's get that out of the way. Out of the way. All right, so we've got, we're gonna start with this one because this one is needing to get mailed <laughs> pronto. So we've got L69. L70. These are all the same color, but just darker and darker versions of them from Nino Mia. Let me get a good one of these. Just to get everything. I know it doesn't matter, but I do have good pipettes and bad pipettes. And these have already been washed, so they won't I'm just making sure that there's no gross things in there, that they haven't gone bad. Everything seems good with this color. So there's a slightly darker. Here's L72. That and then all the way. I could do L74, but I really like this ultramarine. Um, the L74 actually can go a little too dark. So I have kind of stopped using it because it almost goes black. It's so dark. So definitely this is a better option. This is the Hirasawa H73 Ultramarine 4. You can see it's a really vivid but not inky dark. So it stays really bright, which I like. I think there's even an L76, which is whew, very, very dark. But if you want, can only do one coat and you need it to be cobalt, L74 is your enamel to, of choice for that. There we go. So we've got doop, 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 doop. Now we're going to do just, we're going to get our other slightly warmer palette going. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, so many cords, so many cords. We've got, this is the forget me not. So has anyone, has anyone actually started fabricating? I know it's like day three of the enamel arched, art jam. There we go. There's that forget me not N55, obviously. Oops. Oops. Oh, there's like a little hole in this one. Uh, 
And then there was one other thing I was going to get. I've already forgotten. Oh, 546. 546. This little guy. There we go. So we've got all our sweet colors. We're going to put that out of the way and say goodbye to these colors just for now. We'll get to you in the next thing. Oh, hold on. I see some stuff. First time chatter. Frightful nay. Frightful. Hey, hi. I want to. Oh, hold on. Let me block somebody. Delete. Delete the message and oh, I guess I should have blocked them. So sorry about that. That's what you do when you, when you open it up. Hey, you're just let's see if they do if they do something again, I'll block them. So, alrighty, Angie says, I've started making samples. I, well, good, you know, samples. If that's all you do and you call these sample strips your enamel art jam, I will, with the dearest and most sincere pleasure, put that in the photos of your sample strips on because that is good. Uh, Lulu says, I keep changing my mind. My design has changed. Good. Maybe make more than one thing. It's all whatever you want to do. So, yes, let's just put that down a little bit. All right, so let's actually get started. Um, and I guess I'll keep checking back to see if the spammer ha has returned. I deleted rather than, yeah. But at least I did that, so. All right, so let me get a fresh piece of paper here because I spilled water all over this. And we'll just move this out of the way. There we go. So we've got our little guy. And I'm going to get, let's bring the microscope back into the scene here. And turn on the microscope. Let's just, oops. Zoom in. That's good. And let me turn the microscope on. Let's see. There we are, there we are. Now, let me get the light coming back in for that microscope. Not gonna like that. Let's do this. All right, so before we get too far along, let me get something to prop that up on because it's kind of, it's all wiggly. So I'm just gonna rest it on here. Here we go, and you can see, oh, chat pause detail. Ugh. There we go. Um, let's get the colors back. I'm going to get this, that, and I'm going to keep it pretty basic. It's L70. There's Forget Me Not. L70, L69, L72. We'll put you over there. Let's just get you guys. just so you can see where we're going. Now, before I get any enamel on here, I'm going to tip it to this top and see if anything is wildly sticking up. I'm gonna use my finger and press down the obvious things. 
and also those long skinny straight ones I want to use I'm going to push down push them down using tweezers because I don't want to bend them over so that's good that's good tuck everything in and also I'm going to grab my pair of pliers, these little guys. Now, I'm going to, you can, I don't know if you can even see, let's see if I can hold it up to the light, or I guess, see these parallel lines here? I actually put because I didn't want them to tip over and I wanted them to remain evenly spaced. And so when I was gluing these wires, I put these, let's see, hold on. See, oh, here we are. See this circle right here? And then there's one right here. And then the same thing, a circle and a circle. That's to keep these lines from tipping over, but I don't want them anymore. They've done, they've served their purpose and the wires are fired down. They're not going to tip over because I am going to be putting enamel in there, which will hold it all up. So I'm going to yank those circles out and thank them for a job well done. There you go. Carefully without all oh, you of course, they're beautifully fused. They're like, no, we want to stay. Oh, let's see. There we go. So something to consider when you have parallel lines is doing a little spacer to hold things in place and then removing them. There we go. So we don't need these little guys. Thank you get you out of the way, put you in the silver scrap. There you go. So we've removed our spacer beads. Did things tip over? No. <laughs> and everything is looking good, pressed down. All righty, nothing to be done but get started at this point. So we don't need that. Let's pick a good brush for the day and a sip of water. Oops. There we go. I'm very thirsty today. Let's get, is this one good? Mm. Let's have a look. This is very long. Maybe I like it. Do I like it? Or do I want something shorter? I don't like the extra short. Let's see. I think I want this one. All right, so we've chosen our brush for the day. We've got that. Got my little stack of paper towels and we're ready to go. I guess I should start we're gonna start with kind of a light color on the inside. Let's see, I'm trying to look at the picture. I've already gone off the reservation a bit on this, so hopefully they will like, like it, <laughs> or else I will be sad. We're gonna just start very light here. I wonder if I would, would actually like the other brush better. Oh yeah, and just drop that water over there. That's perfect. Let's get a lot more water. There we go. Yeah. 
we're going to kind of start with that and then go to switch to our cool colors. Pour some of that off. Oh, I need an extra thing. There we go. Trying to decide. I hate this brush. It's too short. I'm going to get that other brush. I have such dumb opinions about brushes, but which one was it? Let's get... Honestly... You know, we'll leave the brushes closer. I have a feeling it's going to be a... I'm, un, I'm unsatisfied with all the brushes kind of a day. Do I want that water? Maybe. So we're basically going to go to darker. Just making this a uh, pretty blue swoop. It's super quiet today. Let's pull that a little closer. Which one was the good one? Now we'll just Go to this slightly darker. Get this blended in.
which one was that? 70? There we go. That's a good swoop. Let me just make sure that we're good. Good. Now, look at my thing. Oh, yeah. Before I get too far along, I'm going to get some pale. Get these going. They're 546. I like to balance out the cool blues, the cool cobalts, with just a little bit of these warmer blues. Because it kind of, sometimes things can go a little flat if you just do one tone of things. So, you know, maybe I'm going to do... But the predominant color is going to be those cool... the cool blues. Going to do a little bit. Do I want to do that first? Yes. It's quite a lot of water here. going to get
I can see that the color on the the color is probably more realistic in this camera rather than this camera seems a bit dark but you know it is what it is so let's continue on so we're gonna do dun, 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 everything Tiny nibbles of color there. A nibble of color. A little bit more of these. Tuesday. There we go. Try a little bit and then get a dark area.
go. Looking good. Let's see what would be next. Definitely this. I know I'm all business today. Well, it's Tuesday. <sighs> Tuesday. Not that there's anything wrong with Tuesday. Boop, boop, boop. A little bit. Oh, wait, a little bit of this over here. Oh, and you know what I have to do tomorrow? Ugh, ugh. I've got to do my taxes. I'm doing my taxes, and I don't, I guess I don't have to do them tomorrow, but I am doing them tomorrow. Hopefully, not also on Thursday hate doing my taxes. There we go. Now we get this. Good. Oh. A little bit of this. Mm-hmm. 
feel like I want to fool around with that wire a moment. But I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to give myself one, one tweak. Let me get the good tweezers. Where are my good tweezers? Oh, there they are. It was the first pair. Let me just see if I can... All right, done. Done. One tweak. I gave myself one tweak. And that was, that was enough. Yeah, these, this is ground pretty rough. It's big honking pieces of glass. Having trouble kind of squeezing them in. Go a little bit more. What time is it? Oh, it's one o'clock. There's a new restaurant that opened just a block away. Um, maybe they opened about a month or so ago. I'm super psyched about it, but I'm super excited to see people excited about this restaurant and they come for the lunch crowd, but all of a sudden there's just people outside. There's a lot more foot traffic, which is, I guess if I, you know, wanted people to come in, that'd be good. But also parking's becoming a little bit more, if I leave to go somewhere, if, if I've driven, which I don't, I live, I quite literally live half a block. I mean, I live half a mile away, so I usually walk. Uh, but when I'm carrying a bunch of stuff, I'll drive, or if I'm just feeling lazy, I'll drive. But um, if you leave at noon, you're not gonna get a parking spot when you get back. There we go. All right, that looks good. Now we'll get our last little bandola which Bit of that. Oh, well, I probably won't deal with that later. Hold on, let me scan. I want to put a little shadow under there. Now I'm worried. Um, have I have I ruined it? I don't. I feel like nobody's chatted. Can will somebody just make a chat, a quick chat, just so I know that I didn't break the chat when I deleted that one chat? Maybe I've turned the chat off. Not that you have to talk, but if somebody would like say something, that would be. 
That would be good. Oh, I know what I'm going to do here. Oh, hello. Thank you, Glass and Fun and Peg. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes it feels too quiet. Like, oh gosh. I'm like, actually, I don't even know how many people are watching because I have that window off. So it could be that nobody, every, it could be that everyone has just gone home, <laughs> which is totally fine. All right, I'm going to put a little shadow under here. Thank you. Thank you for that, by the way. Um, all right, a little bit of this. And actually, I'll probably keep that. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, you're watching. No, that's fine. Um, I'll stop talking then. So I don't interrupt. Um, I don't think it's possible for me to stop talking. Um, you may be unsurprised to know that my husband is a very quiet person. He doesn't talk very much because, oh, did I lose a wire? Nice, well played. Um, he says I do enough talking for both of them. For both of them. All right, put this wire back in that fell out. Good. Now we got that last little bit. I hope they like this one because I see something sticking up. Oh, I guess that's fine. More water in here. There we go.
forget me. Everyone's at work. I'm at work. I am at work too. There we go. There we go. All right, this, that, this, that. Now, let's getting towards the, the tip of the where I kind of went a little crazy with these feathers. That's good. And get that out of the way. Let's see. I think I want to get a little.
some of that in the 72. I don't hate that. Let's get some of this. Sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't see what I was doing. <laughs> 7 a.m. That's pretty early to get to a job.
closer to the end here. Ah, oh, yes. Kids to sport. Your other job. Well, yes. I can imagine. I just need a little bit of the dark. I'm not going to actually do that darker one until the next one. I'm going to do a coat of the, the L72. Just we'll darken it in the next go around. Eh, no, I'm going to get it right now. Mine as well. Especially with these tiny little crevasses. I want to make sure we get some of this color wedged in. Oop. Right. There we go. Oof. So that is ready to get dry. I'm going to turn the kiln on to what are we doing today? 1400. What is that like 706 Celsius is what I'm going to set the kiln to. And while this is drying, we'll get started on our little mousey mouse. Let's, you can look at him. Oh, I did bring the kiln. I brought my iPad so we can we're gonna do that next. We'll take this and go over to the kiln. Where is the kiln cam? Still going strong, idle in a way. Alrighty, kiln cam. We get a trivet, thank you. And I know. Whoop. You're gonna draw it. Fourteen hundred seven sixty. Seven sixty Celsius. 
There we go. That should take about 10 minutes. And now we're going to transition to another thing. So I'm going to turn off. Oh, let me go back to the workbench. And we're going to be doing our friend. Remember this guy? We're going to get his second coat, which is really, the second coat's really going to make it pop. But we need to wash. I've got all the colors, but we need to get them all assembled and ready to go. So I'm going to turn off the microscope camera and get the microscope out of the way just momentarily, just so I can friggin' see what's going on. There we go. I guess I could zoom out as well. Oop, wrong way. Zoom out. There we go. There we go. So, oh, big day. So we don't need the blues. We don't need right now. So we're going to get the blues out of the way. Keep them close for the second coat. And, you know, we have a few of these colors we're going to want, but not all of them. And where did I put the drawing? Remember, we have our drawing here. So we're going to bring that back. Let's just, we don't need this, do we? No. And we're going to pull our colors. Remember, we've got all these sweet browns. We've got these little, I want to actually punch this background a little deeper. I feel like it's a little on the light side. So we, I'm going to bring in an extra color, which we're going to figure out in a second. So that is that. Let's see what we've got. Um, <laughs> Doop, doop. All right, we don't need these blues. You guys just scooch, scooch. Oh, we might want this blue. So let's get our browns, caramel, and get you out of the way. Honey, platinum. Oh, we've got, oh yeah, the dumb flowers. I'm actually kind of sick of these flowers. Probably not going to do one of these for a while. So <laughs> that's our black. Got, we'll put the flower stuff. The flower colors can go up here so they are not crowding, cramping my style. There you go. The yellow is more of a flower color. And, oh yeah, this peach. Oh, that's, that's over there. We don't need you. Oh, turquoise, maybe. Oh, we were going to add turquoise. I'm having second thoughts. We don't need the pink. We don't need that. I see, I just literally, I just kind of did a useless thing. I, I, I moved everything from here over here. But I could have just set this there. But I did not. So I'm going to set that back over there. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about the blue. Because I really feel like I want the background to be just a little richer. And I don't think this turquoise is going to do the job. So let me, here are the colors. This is the darkest color in the series. I actually don't hate it. Um, but instead of this light, medium, dark, I want to maybe scrap that and go light, medium, and then go something warm. I'm thinking peacock. Peacock. Let's grab you, peacock. Oh, I just happen to have the blue samples right here. So let's not squish what we're doing. I'm thinking, you know, you can never go wrong. There we go. This is not a new sample strip, so it doesn't look as good as this one, but I assure you, this is a glorious color. I assure you. So we're gonna do that situation. And although that's lump 931, no, no. Yes. So I'm gonna grab the, I know I have it washed, so we don't even have to do much extra work. Get you back. And grab. 
so many chords. There we go. It's like macrame over here, trying to get things over here. Let's see. We're, oh, there we are, peacock, right there. Put you over there. And we'll start, you know what, I feel like I actually, no, we'll still start with our little guy first. And I also want to get some clear just in the areas I don't want to go to Darwin. No, we'll just do this. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't want that. So let's get these washed. Oh, spilling already. We'll start. Well, we need our pale baby pink, baby. So let's wash these colors and then get started. Let me get some fresh because this is kind of all full of blues. Blues. Dump this in the bucket. Get some fresh. And we're going to introduce our platinum. And pink, baby. Beautiful. That should get us to the end of our little mouse friend. Get the water out of the way a little bit. All right, now we're ready. We've got our colors ready to go. I'm going to pull them just so you can see what we're working on here. And I'm going to bring the microscope back online so I can see and you can see so let's scooch up just a second while we bring our microscope in oops there we go should be good and let's turn on the microscope there we go oh, beautiful Let's see what we're pointing at. Oh, yeah. There we go. Here's our little mouse. I might put him on a little riser. Just he's tipped forward a little bit. Oh, here's our little piece of foamy foam. There we go. There we go. He's very shiny, so you can't really see the colors, but I know that they will. This is the this is going to tie all of these colors together. I'll start with his eyeball like I did before. Now, I 
kind of want to make sure I punch this area back. We'll start with his face again. I want a little bit. I'm going to start over here with this really pretty. Oops, yeah, just go already getting it everywhere. This caramel color is really pretty. Really? Let's see. Oh, let's move our light. Too much. There we go. That's good. Oh, let's. I know I'm spending too much time adjusting. Yeah, well, that's just the way of it. There we go. All right, I'm done fooling. Done fooling. Now we're gonna get some of this caramel on our friend. Second coat. In fact. And we're going to do a little bit of this dark color. Let's make his whiskers pop a little bit. Oh, Kelney is ready, but am I ready for Kelney? I don't think so. There we go. A little bit more shadows. I went really light with this dark, but I'm going to punch it a little bit. Yeah, and in just a couple minutes, I'll fire that other one. Give it a little bit more time. A little bit of pink. I'm kind of all over this face. That's 
looks good. Little dark shadows here. Just to kind of give him a little three dimensionality, we're going to pull in some of this and yeah, that's actually good. That's good. Yeah. A little bit of feathering. I'm going to do a little dark there. I'm putting these in the spill away zone, the knock, on, knock them over, going to knock them over zone. Put a little bit more here. Just smooth that out because I want to make that a nice caramel color. I just want him to have a little bit more bold coloring up here. Oh yeah, just go right on in there, good. Your little face. There we go. And a little bit right here. Fill in your back ear. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's get a little shadow. There. And... Mm, no, that's good. Let's get our caramel. As soon as I finish the color on his the little mouse body, we'll fire the angel wing just to keep things moving around. Because the angel wing is, as much as I want to finish this little guy, this is not that this is more fun to work on, but um, the other thing is paying the bills and it's been paid for and needs to get into the mail tomorrow morning. So definitely going to focus on that. But I'm going to get this coat on as well. And I'm going to do there we go. A little bit of that and a little highlight. Right here. Blend that a little bit. That's good. That's good. I know he is a sweet little mouse. Mau with mouse. Mau moise. He's a sweet little moise. Cute, cute, cute. Now a little bit of this caramel. bit. Switch to the blonde and then a little bit of the pink. Just 
actually I'm gonna just do blonde over that pink. That pink will stick will it'll still read as pink. Just punch it back a little bit. Let's get a little Little caramel. Yes. And then we're going to switch immediately to the lighter shade. Let's get his little rump done. Let's get your little rump. So yes, I, if you are just joining us. I, at the very beginning of this thing, I was blabbing about what I'm going to be doing, what I'm making for the Enamel Art Jam. And there's still time to sign up if you have not, although I don't have that many unique themes left. It was definitely a ton of people signed up, which is great. My theme, what was my theme again? Crap. Um, oh, something. Um, my theme? You'd think I would have it memorized by now. Twilight, something Twilight, whatever. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a vase, an enamel, three-dimensional enamel, st sterling silver vase, which I've never made in my entire life. I've never made a vase. The only three-dimensional enamel thing I've ever done is those bracelets that I made. So it's definitely going to punt, like rocket me out of my comfort zone. And I'm like already trying to think of the logistics of enameling a 3D vessel. And I've been thumbing through all of my books that I have, you know, trying to decide what the best like just the logistics of does it need to be counter enameled on the inside if it's a fully three dimensional? I mean, I want it to be counter enameled. I've got, anyway, I'm, I'm doing some research about all the things. How am I gonna support it during firing? Should I just fire it uh, on its side? Should I fire it straight up and down? Should I use a, a holding agent? Uh, like lily root powder. There's just a lot to think about. And something else. Yeah, I mean, just something that big. Oof. I'm gonna have a, maybe I'm just gonna do a, do a necklace and call it good. And oh yes, Enchanted Twilight. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Enchanted Twilight, which is actually super great. Um, and it's just, it is a lot, it is a lot. And I am, at the end of this month, I'm participating in Project Mesh, which is an enameling, a one week long enameling retreat at Pock Pocuson, Pocuson Fine Art Center. And we're gonna spend a week, Mary, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, Mary Lee Ray is gonna be there. Uh, there's 12 enamel artists total. Me, Amy Roper Lyons. I'm super stoked about that. Um, a lot of people, a lot of like really good enamel artists. And so the whole project mesh, I've never part, I'm so excited. I'm very honored to be invited, to be honest. It was supposed to happen last year, but you know, COVID. Um, so that is going to be a week of just working in a different environment and I'm hoping to pick some people's brains about it. There we are. I'm also taking, well, cause it's only two hours from where I'm at. Uh, so it's, I am gonna be driving and I'm gonna be taking my arc welder because 
you know, let other people, maybe some, you know, everyone, because there's a lot of people that have been wanting to try it. Um, so let people fool around with that. Oh, look at our sweet little guy. All right, he is enameled. He's looking good. Now we're going to just take a quick little segue over to our kiln, and I'm going to put the cobalt angel wing pendant in the kiln. And so let's do that. Just take a quick little, I'm tired of, I should never say I'm tired. I am ready to go to the kiln cam. There we go. So kiln cam. But yes, Project Mesh, and it's gonna be a whole week of enameling with other world-renowned enamel artists. It's gonna be kind of intimidating, but it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. And I'm not used to that much together time. It's gonna be a lot of together time. So, again, I have the kiln set to 1400 Fahrenheit. 760 Celsius and yeah, gonna leave it in. I'm not gonna sit there and stare at it. So I'm gonna come over here and have a sip of my water. And I'm not gonna do anything else. I've made that mistake before. I'm just, I have the, I've got the spatula in my hand so I can't forget that I have something in the kiln. I guess we can zoom in. We'll zoom in on the kiln. Or I guess I can move it a little closer. There we go. There's nothing to see, but zoom. Oh yes, there's the kiln. Yeah, and basically, you know, if you're just joining us, you know, the kiln temperature dropped when we opened the door down to 1200. And honestly, by the time it gets back up to 1400, I bet everything will be melted. There's no specific rule that it has to be in the kiln for two minutes. Uh, we're not that specific. We're just, I'm walking over to get my glasses. We're just gonna pull it out the moment things are melted. And I have a little window, so I'm not gonna sit there and stare in the window, but the moment I see glossy flatness is the moment things come out of the kiln. There's nothing to be gained from leaving something in the kiln longer than necessary. So. Click, <sighs> click. Oh, you bastard, click. There you go. Yeah, and luckily, oh, did something tip over? Oh, you. Mm. Come on, get on out of there. I should have left, I should have left one of those spacers in. I see I have a little bit of tippage. We might be able to fix it. Hubris, remember that is the word of the day. I'm gonna let that cool Ugh, and look at it when it's dry. Let me move it off this trivet though. Nope. You're going to stay. You, okay. You do what you, you do. You little wing. Do you. Let's come back to you. our friend, the sweet field mouse, because you will never disappoint me, sweet fight field mouse. All right. Let's talk about while well, that's cooling. Yeah. One of those parallel lines didn't tip over entirely, but it collapsed a little bit and I'm not thrilled with that. So that I'm just gonna have a moment of, if I weren't streaming, I'd probably go stroll around. I'd go have a walk around the block and think about, think about all the mistakes I've made in my life. So the worst that can happen is I have to contact the person that purchased it and tell them that it is not actually in the mail because I have to remake it. And no, I just, I hate, it. I shouldn't have printed out the shipping label so far ahead of time. It was kind of a mistake. I was shipping, I was printing out, if you ordered a 
I was printing out labels for a bunch of kits and that kind of got scooped in. I didn't really mean to print it out. I was going to print it out tomorrow, but so. That's why I like it when I really am trying to work up my inventory so I have if you buy it from my Etsy store, I literally just put it in a box that day and get, send it your way. Because uh, it's kind of stressful to have to make things to order because you really, I really want them to be completely perf as perfect as I can get them. So, all right, I'm just kind of cleaning up some of this brown. You're looking fine. Now we're gonna do the blue background. And so, oh, we probably, oh yeah, we have that on. So remember we picked out this slightly darker color that we're going to use. And what was this? This was 295 lump is going to be our lightest color. Or is it, or is it? Got the forget me not and then the peacock. That'll be fine. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Do I wanna start with the peacock? Maybe. We're just gonna make this a little bit darker in the background. And what can you, oh, I'm sorry about that. Two o'clock. Oops. I guess I could, um, I don't know. I could, because, you know, this is Twitch. I could totally stream me making the 3D model of the vase. But I'm su I am suck at 3D modeling programs. So, yeah, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to do that. Um, it would be a kind of a painful thing. I'm still bit of a beginner so it takes me a while to figure things out. I've been watching a ton of other people's YouTube videos about how to use the 3D modeling program. Oh don't start clicking buddy. Now, I'm going to continue. I'm going to just kind of work my way a little bit because there's a lot of moisture getting sucked up in here. So I'm going to – oh, yeah, I was going to change my mind with that. I was going to incorporate more turquoise, but I'm really kind of liking this simple blue. It's a simple field mouse. Let's get some 
Let us forget me not. bit of that. Yeah, I'm liking a slightly darker blue background. Angie asks, if you torch heat your feather piece from below, oh no, no, um, that would not, um, I will either pluck the wire, I'll, I'll look at it, um, we'll look at it together, we'll look at it together, um, working it hot would not be a wise course of action, um, because, the answer might just be to let it be, move along, it's fine, or you get a player pliers and pluck it out like a bad tooth and just inlay a new wire. I don't look forward to those, but yeah, if you tried to heat this up with the torch from below, um, it would not, would not go well for me anyway. There we go. And we might be able to wiggle it up again. It might not be so bad. I only looked at it briefly and then decided that it was something I'd deal with when it was cool. So... Put a little bit of this. I need a lot more water. Hold on. It's getting a big drop of water. Oh, that's a lot of water. There we go. All right, as soon as I do this, I'll go get it and look at it. I don't want to. I don't want to. There we go. There we go. That looks good. All right, that's good. We'll get, let me get this little, no, let's just go grab it. Um, see what's going on. Come here, little guy. Oop, are you hot still? No, you're cool. What's going on with the little wing? Let's get you scooched out of the way. And yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty tipped over. Probably gonna yank it out. 
Um, it's this one right here. See how it tipped, tipped over like that? See if you can see it, yeah. Right here. Let me look at it under here. Yeah, right here, it just tipped forward. I probably should have kept the, that wire in there just for one more firing. So it's actually not a catastrophe. Um, I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm going to yank it out. Let's do what, let's just yank that tooth out. One time I had to have a tooth out. Oh, it was terrible, but you know what? It needed to be done. Let's see if we can, oh, I can see it's gonna, I might have to get in there. This might be a project for off camera, we'll see. Oh, there we go. Hold on, let's see. You know, I'm trying to do the least amount that I can get away with. Alrighty, well, you know what? That's gonna be something for me to think on later this afternoon. So we're just gonna set you. The rest of them looked real nice though. The colors look great. We'll just fix that and move along forward. So, but yeah, I'm going to get in there probably with a diamond. I'm gonna have to loosen it up with a diamond grit. Very, very fine diamond bit just to loosen it up, I'm gonna yank it out and just stick a new wire in there. And I'm probably gonna do a little L-shaped wire, boop, boop, so it won't tip over. And yeah, it's gonna be an extra 30 minutes worth of work, but I think it'll be, it'll be just fine. And thankfully, this color is very uh, forgiving. So this is not, you know, an extra firing isn't going to make or break this piece, but you can see, but it's worth doing. It's not worth leaving that there. So we will give it a little extra TLC later. Let's, let's work on our non, current non-problem child. We're gonna get this done, fire him, and then probably call it a day, for you anyway, not for me. Let's get our little friend. Here we are. Get the rest of the blue in here. Definitely need some water. Will this be too much? There we go. Yeah, and I thought I was being so clever with those spacers. That is good. Now we're just gonna work our way in this direction, just because. And yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna problem solve the rest of that on my own. Because there might be swearing, and I still don't know if I'm allowed to swear on Twitch or not. Or YouTube. Get this 
little guy. Now, oh, let me get a little bit of That's good. Little bit.
Oh, it's at 2.30. One more little bit of the blue. And then three flowers and one other thing. Get some drop of water in there. Is it too much? Yes. Last little bit. Oh, all righty, buddy. The kiln is mad. I'll turn you off in a second. I'll get you. All right, the blue is all done. Now, just a few little flowers. These will go fast because there's already, I think there's already two coats on here, isn't there? Yes. Is, nope, no, there's one coat. I guess I've, I feel like I've done this design so many times. <laughs> My memory is like I've done, I've done this already, but that's fine. We'll get this, these won't be super long. So we're gonna get you guys out of the way. We've got our greens, citrus, greens, yellows, yellows. Oops, don't you just go anywhere there. Gold, let's move you out of the way. Gold, and then our two whites. Not, don't want the peach lump accidentally. We'll put you over there. What is the white enamel in the flower petal is what Peg asks. Well, you are about to find out because we're about to add that. There's two enamels here. Uh, there's two, it's 210, semi-opaque right on the tips. And then I blend that into the G710 translucent. Both of these are neat, no Mia colors. Let me get the samples. Are, oops, where are the samples? Over here. I think these are the samples. One is more opaque, that's the 210, semi-opaque, and then this one is the warmer transparent. And so this is, whenever you're trying to go from a more opaque, you could even take this into a pure opaque. This will get you to whatever color you want this to be, transparent, boop, boop, whatever that is. Obviously a light color. I wouldn't try to do this, because that would be too much of a transition, but you could do, you know, this to this to this really pale blue and then work your way to the dark if you wanted. So 210, 
semi-opaque, G710, translucent. Oh, righty. So, but, and we don't need to wash those. We'll just wet those. We're going to do a quick little mini wash. Get these. That's what takes the longest time. Get these ready to go. Oops, almost dumped all of that out. Good. And where's my yellow? Is that my yellow? Why is this not labeled? This is, I'm going to assume that's N24. That's something that I probably... If it were anything but N24, I would have labeled it. That's the reasoning behind that. And, and honestly, it, those are my favorites. Like if you're trying to go from white to a color. I've tried a bunch of other ones. Oh, and they aren't reactive to silver. It's really good. So it's a winner. I think the only thing you have to be careful with that 210 semi-opaque is uh, it's a little bit harder. So whatever you put underneath it needs to be hard. Like I've tried putting like that pale blue N55 underneath that semi-opaque white. And you know what? It kind of starts separating and gets a bit crackly. So I stick with my Sawyer number three flux underneath. Um, or a hard yellow would be fine. Or, you know, just do the flux. So your number three flux and you're good to go. Um, so, alrighty, we've got all our colors. And we're gonna start with this little flower right here. Just A little bit of this dark green. It's good. We've got a lot of colors in these flowers. screen right here. Honestly, I think it's fine to do that yellow. Yellow. There. And then our, I think it's a little clumpy.
here. Oh, we got one tiny little dollop of my vivid yellow right here. One tiny drop. All right, so that's one flower. Let's go to the other flower. There we go. Same thing. Let's see, these flowers go nice and fast, at least. The next coat will even go faster because that will just, we'll, we're finishing up the colors. Citrus. Maybe I can do a little citrus right there. Good. And the translucent. Alrighty, two, oh, one more little dollop of N20 gold. Right there. So close. One more little guy. Honestly, we could probably just do yellow over all of those colors. They look good. Last little bit. Now we still have to do that little, don't worry, don't get your head, we're not totally done. We still have to do the little, the band of rainbow colors, but that should go pretty fast because we've got that layer of black down already. So we can be a little bit less particular. So, hold on, let, let the motorcycle go by. Thank you. Now, so we have, Oh yeah, we're gonna do our crazy color. Yep, yep, yep. Where did our crazy color go? Oh, do we need to wash it? 
certainly. Let's go to our orange. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, that's lump eighty five. Um do ba doo ba doo. Or did I put you with the reds? Yes, that's what we want. We don't need much. We need one quite literally one tiny ten granules of this. Oh good, the motor shingle's coming around for another pass. All right, so let me just get a little bit of this. Quite little, that's all I'm gonna do. It should be enough. That's probably 10 times more than we need. So we've got that. Let's give that a little mini wash. Right, maybe not 10 times more than we need, but that'll be just the right amount. No more, no less. And then washing it a little bit more. Oop, almost poured it all down. <laughs> that. Perfect, we got that. We don't need these two whites, get the whites out of the way. We've got our peach lump. If you're thinking about the colors, let me show you the colors. That's this color right here. This one on the end. Then we've got the peach lump, the orange, the vivid yellow, citron. That's where we're going. And And just there we go. I need to actually wick a little moisture out of that thing so I can pick up that piece of enamel. There we go. Two and a half, two and a half. Now let's get that peach lump, which I know doesn't look very peachy right now. But that's okay. Get in there. There we go. Now we're going to switch to the dark. Was it dark? Yes. Dark gold. It's a lot of water. One more over here, then we'll go to the vivid yellow. I don't mind. 
mind having it there. And then where's our vivid yellow? I do yellow. One more. That's good. Good, and then. Actually, I want the citron first. And then maybe a little bit of this. There we go. All right, all right, all right. We're good, we're good. So. We're just going to do a little wicking and then it's pretty much just ready to go in the kiln. I bet the rest of it is bone dry. So we're just going to wick this little guy. We're going to fire this little guy. Wicking first. we go. I'm just going to put them right in the kiln. Let's do it. All right, let me go to the kiln cam. We'll do that. We'll see where we are. And go from there. Oh, I probably want a You do your little thing, guy. There we go. Yep, see how it drops to like that, 1183. We're just going to chillax over here. I just aged myself by saying chillax. And just relax. The good news about this piece is if something terrible happens to it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't have any place to be, has no place to be. Just come. 
come back over here. Yeah, watching and waiting. You know, I don't know if you can hear that motorcycle. <laughs> All right, we're at 14, whatever, beautiful. I don't have my glasses on, but you know what? I bet it's ready to pull up. There we go. Lovely. Let us get you off that trivet. This trivet needs to take it. There we go. We're going to let you cool and then have a look at you. And that'll be our day. There we go. All right, while that cools, I will go back to the selfie cam. Oh, I know. Whew. What's going on over here? Crazy. So, all right, so that is cooling, lovely. You know, we had a day, we did some things. And so I guess at this point, I will just give you encouragement about the, I'm gonna get my glasses on so I can see what's going on. Encouragement about the enamel art jam. There it is, join it. If you are an enamel artist and you haven't signed up, you still have time, I would love to have you. Also, you can obviously uh, subscribe to my Vimeo channel. We're in the process of doing those eyeballs. We're about to start with the dragon eyeball. I thought maybe I was gonna pause and do the setting for the human eyeball ring, but we're gonna do the settings all at once. So we're going to go segue right into the dragon eyeballs on the Vimeo. Let me get that, let me get the sketch. We got time. Things are cool. We're waiting for things to cool. So, and of course I spilled water on the drawing, but that's fine. And these are the eyeballs, the dragon eyeballs that we're going to be doing next. Yes. And I haven't, and I apologize. Somebody had requested the colors we're going to be using for these. And I haven't had any time to select the colors. Uh, but I will do that very soon. It's going to make this video very soon. So that's coming up. And this is going to be, these are going to be, I'm not sure if I'm going to make all three of them, one or two. We'll, we'll decide. I'm going to decide over the weekend. And so that's going to be like a little brooch at the end. So, because it's a little bit big for being a ring. Uh, it could be a good eye patch maybe, but that you can make whatever you want. And that is on Vimeo if you're interested in, and those are using some opalescent colors and some really vivid hues for that particular project. Check that out. Also buy something at my Etsy store. Yes, eyeballs. Peg, have you, have you watched that video? <laughs> I know. Um, I also have a kit for all the colors for the human eyeballs and I'll probably have a kit for this project as well. It all depends on if I choose obscure colors that I can part with or not, which is all going to be decided. All right, let's, I guess you think it's cool. Should we go see how things came out? We, we should go see. You think it's cool? Let's go find out. I'll be right back. Let me go get it. Let's I'm just gonna hold it because I bet it's still hot. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. Oh, but the colors are smoother. I'm loving how much darker things are. I'm just gonna hold it. It's still hot. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta, hold on, let me set this down. I gotta switch back over to the workbench. There we go. We don't actually need the microscope. You are done. Um, still a little hot but you can see the, the, re the reflection is not great, but you can see the colors are nice and rich and vibrant. Uh, it's hard to see with like 
in this in in between stage but he's definitely coming together really well and so what I'm going to do next with this little guy not today because I got to go do some troubleshooting with our other friend remember this guy feels like a hundred years ago I'm going to finish going to finish this today get it in the mail uh, and then this is going to get as far as the colors go the colors are pretty much good I'm going to punch up the blues a little bit switch to clear probably two to three more coats of enamel on here will grind and polish and um, I'm not sure if we'll do that together or I'm going to do that on my own I make no promises but what I do promise is I will be back this coming Friday at noon and whatever we're working on is what we're working on so that is the plan so I hope you'll join me noon Eastern Standard Time Friday March is it 9th I don't know Tuesday 7, 8, 9. Anyway, have a great day, Margaret, Peg. Take care.